As a new mom, you want to register and buy all these products. You feel like you're going to need everything. So today I'm going to go through some of the items that I regret buying and spending money on so you can save your money. The first thing is this high chair. This is um, a high chair by Peck Prego, and I found this because it was on Consumer Reports for like the number one safest high chair. And we were like, oh my God, this is the high chair that we need. And we spent $300 on it. And I'm gonna show you exactly why I don't like it. Sebastian is a very tall boy. He's in the 90th percentile for height. As soon as I put him in, look how high this high chair is. I have to tilt him all the way back to get his bottle because this top part is always in the way. There's a huge gap between where he is and where the table itself is. And the actual chair itself has really deep side pockets. So if food gets in there, it is so hard to clean. My mother-in-law has a high chair that she got from Target and it's so much better than this one. Um, so again, honestly, I would not spend the $300 on this high chair if I had a chance to do it all over again. Another thing I regret buying is this lobster clip-on high chair. And the point of this chair is that you uh, can clip it on anywhere and it could be a portable high chair. The only problem is, and there's lots of warnings on here too, is that um, you know, it has to be a very sturdy, heavy table. I feel like the only um, table that can handle something like this is like a really heavy marble. So I haven't used it out of fear that like the clamp won't hold him, the table will flip over. Um, I don't know, it's just as, as a mom, I'm like scared to use it. So I'm actually gonna be returning this. You guys, how cute are these little baby shoes? They're adorable. The only problem is he outgrew them in about a week and they were so hard to put on. I felt like I was like shoving his poor foot in there. So don't waste your money on really adorable newborn baby shoes. Um, I would say either start at size one and up or two and up. Do not buy newborn size shoes because they outgrow it and it's so hard to put on, they're not even comfortable. So this is the Ergo Baby. Baby Bjorn makes a very similar one. This is a baby carrier. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Uh, the only problem with this is if you don't get the baby used to this very early on, they hate it. I waited until Sebastian was about four months old before I tried putting him in here. Scream bloody murder. I tried again. He hated it. Um, so if you are going to make the investment, and they're expensive, they're $180 to $200, make sure that you get your baby used to it really, really early on. And if you do get them in there really early, you have to get the infant insert, which is another $40 to $50. I ended up going with a $40 wrap, and he loved that. So if you are limited um, on a budget, I would say go with the wrap over the carrier. The next thing on my list um, is this Munchkin uh, Fresh Food Feeders. And one's still in its package, and one's been used. The reason why I regret buying these is because they are so messy it takes like half an hour to clean each one because it gets all over the place and he was so confused when i gave it to him he didn't even want to try it i tried a few different times and i finally just gave up and i started giving him food whole to practice with so i definitely regret spending money on these next up bottles i spent so much money online buying different bottles these boob glass ones are 20 dollars each and i did this because i read online that you should try getting different bottles and see which one the baby likes best Turns out, he really didn't care. So I ended up spending a bunch of money on bottles that I didn't need. I regret buying these glass ones. They're really heavy, they're really hard to clean. He didn't even like using them. I tried these Dr. Brown's wide neck ones. Why? I have no idea. I tried some Avan ones, he hated those. The Dr. Brown ones, he loved these. And I love these too because even though they have a few different pieces, they um, it really does reduce how much colic they get and how much gas they do. This is actually just from his daycare, this little piece right here. And it's the best. I absolutely love these Dr. Brown ones. I know a lot of moms I talk to feel the same way. Um, so I went with just Dr. Brown's and I ended up donating all the other bottles that I purchased and didn't really get any use out of. After I made my list, I was really curious to see uh, what other moms have on their list of things that they regret buying. One thing that I kept seeing on a lot of moms' lists is a bottle sanitizer, and I'm going to disagree with that. I sanitized his bottles once a week until he was about four months old. At that point, the pediatrician told me to stop doing that so he can grow his immune system and his body can get used to germs, which is great, but I didn't stop using it at four months. Now, every time he gets sick, which happens a lot because he goes to daycare, I sanitize all his toys and teethers in here and it really gives me peace of mind that his teething toys, everything is clean and fresh when he's actually feeling better. 
The last item I regret buying is the Halo bassinet. I actually don't even have it to show you because I donated it. Um, I regret buying that because he used it maybe twice. First of all, they outgrow it very, very quickly. Second of all, if you're planning on having your baby sleep in their own crib, in their own room, you're really not gonna have any use for this bassinet. If you plan on doing co-sleeping or having them sleep in your room next to your bed, sure, maybe you'll get some use out of it, but the chances are they're gonna grow out of that bassinet so fast. And those are all the items that I regret purchasing and spending a lot of money on. Hopefully, uh, this is super helpful for you. If there's anything that you regret buying, leave it in the comments below to help out all the other moms. We'll see you guys next time. Say bye-bye.